Hey guys, so I'm coming to you with another video. So today I am showing you guys how I flipped this mom dresser from Ikea and made it into something cool. So as you can see, it's like, I had it forever. This was like something that I had since I was a teenager. And you know, I just signed on my first home and I'm gonna be doing so much DIY and flips to save money to furnish my house. And um, this is one of the things I decided to do. So I just wanted to show you guys um, how you can flip furniture and not be that expensive. So the first thing I did was I took all the drawers out to see what I was working with, right? So why I take the bottom drawer out, thinking that they, this had a base to it, and it doesn't. So what I have to do is I have to add on um, like wood down there so that I can attach the feet because nobody likes the, their furniture sitting on the floor anymore. Like it's all about the elevation. And then it had these weird little plastic slider thingies on it that like cut my finger. So once I got that off, I nailed down. And when I tell you I barely had room to put a drill in there, it was literally like a little bit of space. You know, Ikea, not real wood. So it, 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 it took forever. But um, this is this paint that I got from Amazon. It's called Shabby Chic Chalk Paint. When I tell you this paint stretches, like it stretched. <laughs> It, oh my gosh, like I still had paint left after painting the whole thing. I still have paint right now. And I did like three coats on there. Now, again, the original color of my dresser was like this weird chocolate brown. And I don't know if it just took better because it was already dark. Don't know. But this thing is stretched out. And this is a matte chalk black, which is really, really fancy. And it's a, it's a paint color that I'm going to be having throughout my new home. But I'll show you guys later as I do that. But um, again, this drum stretched. I was able to do multiple coats of this. This is the feet. I also bought this from Amazon. I'll link that in the description as well. I was debating if I wanted to do the feet black or if I wanted to do leave them this color, but um, I don't think I'll be using this type of feet for, I don't recommend you guys use this type because those little circle things, it was hard to get a drill in them and not like split the whole dresser. But this is how it turned out. I think I did pretty good. I did cut my finger though. But um, once I um, did that, I went and bought these little handles from Amazon. This hardware was like $18 for a pack of 10, um, which is really cool. And I didn't even use all of them. Um, I, that was the most stressful math I've ever had to do in my life. But this is how it turned out. I mean, getting those knob thingies on there was so hard. It was like, I was like, if this looks crooked, people are gonna know, like there's no messing this up. But this is how it turned out. And I think I did a really good job. But anyway, again, you do not have to go out and spend hundreds of dollars on stuff. You could just buy some hardware, throw some feet on there. And if you got some wood laying around, which I have a lot, you can throw a base on there and something can come out cool. Like you can even hot glue something to it or like, you know, you can just make it your own. But this is what I did. And my apartment is going to have like a mid-century modern industrial feel. So the, this hardware, the way that this all came out, I really love it. And let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, and subscribe.